good day, guys. How did you go with the basic strokes for the engrosses script, which I talked about in my last video? Hope you have done some practicing. It may not be fun repeatedly writing them, but those basic strokes are the foundation and are very important for writing point pen calligraphy. Once they become natural to you, you can apply the skill into your own writing style. As an impatient person myself, I know how boring it is to learn the 26 letters by just writing them on their own. That's why I created a way which is more fun to learn them by writing some sentiments and words. So today, I'm going to show you how to write our first sentiment, amazing. And after that, you will be able to write capital A and the lowercase letters M, A, Z, I, N, G. Well, let's get started. Well, let's start with the capital A. A hairline compound curve starts at the baseline. Glide upward to the second ascending line. The tip for writing this entrance stroke is to imagine there are two ovals when you make the curves. And there should be two similar little triangles formed against the slant, like this. The second stroke is a straight down stroke on slant. Gradually add pressure as you come down and finish with a squared bottom. Finally, make a loop like this and finish with an exit stroke. Then, add a round dot at the start of the stroke. Lowercase m. This letter is composed by two overturns plus one compound curve like this. The three down strokes should be parallel with the slant. Lower case A. Draw an oval. The center line of the oval should be on the slant like so. Then, write another turn next to it with a square top. Don't worry if you can't make a perfect square top or bottom. It will become more lateral as you write more. Lowercase z. Draw an upside down C between the base line and head line, like this. Follow with a curved down stroke and make a sharp turn upward when it gets to the second descending line. And finish with a thin curved up stroke towards the head line, like this. Lowercase i. Start with the hairline entrance stroke and then an undertone with a round dot placed on top of it. Lowercase n. Similar to m, instead of two overturns, there is only one overturn plus a compound curve like this. Again, the downstrokes should be parallel with the slant. Lowercase g. First, draw an oval. Then, a descending stem loop and follow with an exit stroke. If you light up the oval, and the descending loop like this, the line should be parallel to the slant. Now that you know how to write those letters individually, I'll show you how to join them together. In order to let you see how each stroke is executed, I deliberately did not fill up the ink into the nib, so you can see clearly how the lip works on each stroke. Also, 
Pay attention to how I connect each letter. Where do I end exit stroke, which is also the entrance stroke for the following letter? Let's do it one more time with the ink fully loaded. going guys remember not to write fast take your time and write slowly always think of the following letter while you're writing so you can plan for how you will go with the exit stroke so the next letter can flow on from there before I tell you the sentiment for our next video do you want to see how I write amazing in my style there you go That's it for today. The next word I'm going to show you how to write is beautiful. In this word, you will be able to learn capital B and other lower cases Y, U, T, F, and Del. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked today's video. Until next time, be chill.